So I welcome in Sophia Thanish of Thanish Wines, and this is her first time in Rhode Island, if I'm correct. So I'm anxious to hear what she thinks of being in Rhode Island and snowy. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good afternoon. And to you. Anybody that comes well. in with bottles, thank, thank you. you for being here. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for having me here. Absolutely. It's my very first day in Rhode Island. Your very first, first day, day in Rhode Island. Yes. And yes. you haven't been here before, right? Uh, no, 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 I have not. So her first time in Rhode Island, and I get her in studio to try her fantastic yes. wines. So I had I looked through your website and doing some background, mm -hmm. some history mm -hmm. on you. So before we get into tasting your beautiful wines, I really would love to hear about the history of the vineyard because 11, is it 11 generations? Yes, yes, and, and, and the, the history of the estate is even, uh, or the region is even longer. So uh, the uh, Mosul region where I come from, uh, it's the oldest wine growing region in Germany and uh, starting with the Romans about 2,000 years ago. Wow. Yes, and uh, the history of our estate is of course not quite as long. <laughs> <laughs> it's only from 1636. Only from 1636. Yes. Only. Okay. <laughs> but this has been I mean, this has been all in your family since that time. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So 11 generations is a long time <laughs> to think about, and I, I absolutely want to hear more about the history for it. But from your standpoint, and I, if I read correctly, there's going to be a next generation. Was it your daughter that I was really yes, interested? Yes. 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 And in fact, uh, the last. Four generations, the estate was in women's hands, starting with my great grandmother Katharina, and then it was passed on to my grandmother, then my aunt, and now it's my responsibility. And I happen to have two children, and they're both girls again. That's <laughs> so that's yes. easy for you. You gotta yes. pick one. <laughs> and I remember when the when the second daughter was born, a sort of friend said, "Well, uh, we are sorry about this." and um, the next child will be a boy. And then uh, <laughs> I said, well, he wouldn't fit in our concept. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So you must have some, I mean, 11 generations is a long time to have a lot of history to understand and yes. document and your wines and the vineyards and, not, and your family. I mean, mm -hmm. to have your family that long there, but there's gotta be a, in a tremendous sense of pride that you have in not only knowing that you've carried on this family tradition, yes. but also you said four, the last four generations have all been women. Yes. And, and in a time, if you think about it, at least going back a couple generations, yes. it wasn't and, and, that common. And uh, when my great grandmother um, uh, was running the estate, um, um, it was totally a, a man's domain, right. running a, a business uh, anyhow. And that was, and that's not and just in Germany. This is anywhere at that yes, time. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And and in there, there is in, uh, in 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 Champagne area, famous Madame Glucot, uh, the Champagne lady, and she was at that time a little earlier, but uh, she was one of the exceptions. So if we picture Germany, and I, I've had people reach out to me say that they've traveled and they go to various wine countries in Europe. So if we picture Germany, kind of give us a visual of where you're located and what the vineyard looks like in Germany. Yes, it is uh, in the very western part of Germany. Okay. And very close to France, Luxembourg, Belgium. Um, uh, so in the really western part. Okay. Mm -hmm. And is it the, has it been the same amount of land, the same amount of space over the 11 generations, or has the vineyard grown in different ways? Uh, it's it's always a process of you, you, you buy a vineyard and sometimes you sell one, you swap with your neighbors oh, okay. and, and, and these things. It's uh, not very static. Okay, but for the majority of the time you've been located in that general area for yes, throughout exactly. the family. So in your time and growing up with your, your mother and your grandmother and seeing them do this, have you noticed that the quality and the perceptions, I mean, technology has changed, so the quality of the wines has probably gotten different, but one of the things that I found that I heard on you guys is that you're very fond of your traditions. Yes, yes, okay. we are. We, we try um, we try staying very traditional, but also we, uh, we are open for, for new things as well so but but we we don't jump on everything new we 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 are slowly we are watching 
uh, what is happening, and we, we, we don't like to change very quickly. So you're grounded in your traditions, but yet you'll allow some newness to come in if it benefits the production exactly. and the style of the Yes, dance. yes, and we are very slow and... Um, Steady about it. Yes, That's perfect. Exactly. I'd like to hear that, because yeah. you, you don't want to hear that, you know, there's a lot of this in the, in the wine world where people are changing their style and their production methods to meet the consumers, and then the wine quality yes, doesn't stay yes. the same. No, we try to, to have the same style of wine, very elegant and very... Well, why don't we? Yeah, just to try some. We're going to start tasting. It. <laughs> it's a very dry right. tasting with you. I, I have I, to say. I am going to love it. So, this. would you like to taste this one? This is a tarnished cabinet. Okay. This is a, a off dry wine. I pour so, you. while she's pouring, I have to give a nice shout out to Nat, Brett, Mike Lester, all the great people from MS Walker that keep making it possible for me to bring in these guests, and I greatly appreciate that. And Nat has been tremendous in helping get you here today. And I understand that Coast Guard House in Narragansett is going to be one of the restaurants that's carrying these. Yes. So that's awesome. Yes. I love those guys out there. So, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Welcome to Rhode Island. Thank you. Oh, oh my God, that very, is very, wonderful. Very crisp, very elegant, very, very juicy. Yeah. And it has lots of minerality. has a hint of sweetness, but um, it is so nicely balanced. Um, uh, by the sweetness uh, and the acidity and the minerality. No, it's a beautiful, beautiful wine. And like mm -hmm. you said, the sweetness isn't overpowering on it at all. How many varietals do you produce at the vineyard? We, we just have Riesling because okay. Riesling is the very best grape variety and, uh, in our region and I think worldwide. I'm not going to argue with her because right now her wine is absolutely <laughs> delicious. So I'm not going to argue. So out of the Riesling, how many styles is this? The how many styles? Yes, do you they're, they're from different vineyards. It's okay. all Riesling, and it's all all our wines are estate grown fruit. That's important. We don't buy any grapes or grape juice. It's all in our hands from the beginning, from the vineyard to the bottling, and the marketing. That's fantastic. And the drinking. And the drinking, which I'm all right <laughs> with that as well. So one of the things that I got a, a funny question on, and I thought it was interesting just to ask, is the bottle shapes. So there's mm -hmm. a distinct shape. This is, this is a classic uh, Mosel uh, bottle. We okay. call it Schlegel. Schlegel. Schlegel, yes. Mm -hmm. It is uh, um, 0 0.75 liters. Okay. And they're also um, the, the Magnum bottles. They have this size, so beautiful, elegant. Well, I guess I was just going to yeah. say, it's an elegant style. It's, yes. it's, it's, you know, it's classic yes. to tradition yes. going yes. back to German style. And the color is, is green. It's also tradition. Okay. I'm going to bring you in because I don't want anybody to miss things. Just slide yes. it over a little more. This yes, there we go. okay. <laughs> All right. So that one we right. just tried, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're, now we, we're drinking the Danka Slabat okay. Stube. Okay. Next one. Here you are. Awesome for you. I can't drink alone. Sorry? I can't drink alone. I got to try these. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> She's got to do I'm this hurrying, all day. But I'm, I'm, drinking, only I'm drinking with you <laughs> again. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. I'm, drink, I'm drinking all day. I know. This is a great day <laughs> yeah, for you. <laughs> yes. She gets to come to Rhode Island. Everybody gets to enjoy these fantastic <laughs> wines with her. All right, so tell us a little bit more about this one. Yes, and, and it's um, uh, about all of our wines. It is very special. Um, that you can drink these wines because they have so little alcohol. Really? Yes. So you, you can start <laughs> drinking. It's She's in great shape, see? Early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and they do in Europe, so I'm okay with that. How do you say cheers in German? Um, zum Wohl. Zum Wohl. Zum Wohl. Zum Wohl. Zum Wohl. I'm liking this. <laughs> and Badstube, it's a vineyard, uh, Bernkastler Badstube. This is in... Um, how do you say, um, individual vineyard, and okay. it's called Badstube from Bernkastel. Bernkastel is uh, the town I come from. So if someone was to come visit the region that you're in, yes. is it, can they visit the winery and stop and taste and go through the winery? Yes, okay. yes, they, they can. All right, so that's an important thing because I got asked that question, so now you know. Yes, oh, we, we, uh, the, the, the wine shop is normally open. Um, I, I, I might not have time to, to do a tour all the right. time, but... Uh, I can do. Mm -hmm. And the name Badstube means um, uh, bathhouse. Bath so this was um, uh, this uh, vineyard next to a public bathhouse. In the Middle Ages, oh, people nice. didn't have a bathroom, so they went to the public bathhouse, and there they wouldn't just clean themselves, they would also eat and drink and communicate and uh, 
Today you would go to the country club, That's and in so those funny. days you went to the public bar clubs. That's so, funny. <laughs> so a question for you on the production of the wines. Mm -hmm. How long can the style wine age? Oh, um, it depends how much time you have. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> See, I don't have anything that lasts very long, but when I get a special <laughs> bottle, I always wonder, okay, how long can this age? And whites yes. generally are so, meant to so, be... So uh, good quality wines... Um, can age 10 years, 20 years, okay. 30 years. From the Berghasler Doctor, from this wine, uh, we have still bottles from vintage 59 in the cellar. So really? And, it, and, and, and they still taste fresh. That's fantastic. And it's so really, from 59? Yes, yes, yes. It's really amazing. And how long they keep, um, only has 8% uh, of alcohol and still it keeps. That's fantastic. Yes. It is the, um, the, the little bit of sweetness, the acidity, and the minerality which make the wine stay alive for and a very long time. Yeah, I was going to say, because As you long, is... you leave the cork in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have to say, because summertime everybody talks about Rieslings, these are the type of wines you can drink year-round. And the, the, like she's talking about, the quality, the minerality, the freshness, and the sweetness. It's I have to say, the sweetness is not overpowering in any way. It's just the right mouth and like it rolls on your tongue almost yes a it's it's it. very crisp and refreshing and and some <coughs> people don't really like the sweet wines or they say they, they don't, don't like, like the sweet, sweet wine. wines but um and these wines all of them they're, they're not sweet as sweets or, or biscuits or um uh, desserts right they, they're more they have a sweetness of a fruit so when you think of biting into a fresh apple or in the juicy ripe point, peach yeah. This is the flavor you pick up when you have these wines. That's a really good point. Now we are ready for a doctor. Doctor, okay. <laughs> That's a really good point, thinking about how to style, and I, I like that analogy. That's fantastic. Beautiful. Now we got up to this room, we'll get you a little bit more. So, oh, yes. All right. So, Rhode Island that today you guys are out tasting with different restaurants and different wine shops and such. Mm -hmm. How many wines are you introducing to Rhode Island? How many different? Uh, there are about six different. Six different ones. Yes, okay. yeah. We don't have the time to drink them all. Oh, right. no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. I just want to make sure that I want people to know so that when you start looking for these, that you're aware. Just yes. Go. So, this again. <laughs> well, that's completely different. Yes, it is. It is a, a famous vineyard, Bankhassler Doctor. It's a very, very best uh, Grand Cru vineyard. And um, you feel it has a lot yeah. more complexity, and it has lots of peachy flavors, and it is very elegant and nice seafood wine. Yes, you can have it with seafood. Last night we we, we had a sort of some some mussels and um, with uh, chorizo, yeah. a little spicy, and um, uh, with some sweet uh, vegetables, and it was such a nice combination. Mm. I yeah. can absolutely see and, that. And all these wines, they go so well with, with anything which is a little sweet, hmm. a little spicy, or even a little salty, no, even a little bitter flavors. Yeah. And, and they are all balanced by the sweetness. No, I can see the heaviness of some salty cheeses, too. That's yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Like, like uh, you know, Roquefort? Yeah. Uh, Roquefort, yep. um, Roquefort. These, these, these blue cheeses. But also works with Parmesan. Parmesan is... Um, also very spicy, has lots of That's salt, yep. and, and a salt is a mineral, and so it works with the minerality in the wine. Perfect. It's really a perfect Love generation. She's got this down pat. <laughs> All right, so we, which one did we miss here? We have one left, right? So we have uh, now the, another Bernkastler Doctor, the Ausley is a quality. I quickly pour it for you. Yes. So your daughter knows that she's in the running and she's got to start, you know, training behind you for <laughs> yes, all this, yes. right? Yes, yes, and right. she loves food and wine. That's perfect. <laughs> so. <laughs> all right, so tell me a little bit about this one. Mm. This is also a Bank Hustler Doctor. And this is now the Auslese quality. This is one um, uh, step higher. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here you, you, you have an Auslese, but it's not, it's not uh, sweet, sticky, it's, but it is very elegant and yeah. has a, um, a hint of a creamy texture, just, but just I a just hint. just tasted that on the end. Yes, yeah. and, but you still have fruit-driven uh, flavors, and it's really fascinating. And 
and this wine is very, very rare. We have only uh, 100 cases produced of that wine. Really? Only 100 cases? 100 cases. i got to call Emma Walker and get my order. All right. <laughs> yes, you should. Absolutely. Because at the estate, we don't have any more oh, okay. on this oh, wine. Yes. Nat better be here. I'll be yeah. talking to him before he leaves. <laughs> and I must tell you uh, the story of the Bankhaus. Yeah, please. Yeah. So there was this uh, Archbishop. Uh, Beaumont II, and he used to have a summer residence in Bankhaster. He had the castle, yeah. you see, right here. And one day he was very ill, and then the doctors came from the area, and they were bringing different kind of medicine, and uh, but nothing seemed to work. And then there was this wine grower coming with a little bell under his arm, <laughs> climbing up to the castle, and said to the Archbishop, well, when you drink this wine over a certain period of time, you will regain your health. And the archbishop drank and drank and drank every day a little bit, as he was told. And then he said, uh, this is, a, and, and he regained his health, of course. And then he said, this is a real doctor who helped me. I got to say, I always say wine cures all. Well, thank you so much for coming, and we're happy that you're visiting Rhode Island. Thank you for spending some time with us. We'll make sure that we put a great link out there so you can find where these wines are going to be, and we'll keep our friends from Emma Walker up to date with us. But yeah. thank you very much, yes. and congratulations to you and your family. And thank you for having me. Yeah. Absolutely. I enjoyed the tasting with thank you. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Cheers. So I'm Rick Simone. Thank you for joining me on The Taste today. We had some great guests. You see some great pictures, and we'll make sure that we get the information out to you. But I'll see you next week on The Taste. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.